Hello and welcome to day two of my 30 day challenge. Today I'm going to transfer a photo, black and white words, and a logo that were printed using an inkjet printer onto wood using acetone, polyacrylic, and a gel medium. Let's see how each of them turn out. I knew this was going to happen, I'm not surprised. The acetone's a total bust. Acetone works really well if you use a laser printer. I have an inkjet printer. I've used it, I've used acetone with a laser printer. It gets the job done. I have heard that it works with an inkjet printer. I do not believe that it works with an inkjet printer. Acetone's going to go in the fail pile. It's going to take a little bit of work, but we'll see how the, now that they're dry, we'll see how the gel medium, we'll see how the gel medium and the polyacrylic hold up against each other. Now that these boards have dried, I'm going to spray them with a clear finish. I'm going to be using lacquer, any clear finish will do. Well the acetone was a clear loser, the polyacrylic came in, it didn't do nearly as well as gel medium. The gel medium by far was the best. I've tried the polyacrylic a few times. I've never got good results with it. Every time I've tried the gel medium, I've got pretty good results with it. The best results I've ever got with my inkjet printer is using the glossy paper that comes on uh, stickers come on it, like for envelopes or labels, any kind of a sticker. I hate it because I never have any of those empty sheets, so I have to peel all of the labels off. It's fairly expensive paper. I, would, I wish I had something I could use that I always had that I didn't have to use that paper. You can buy photo transfer paper that uh, also supposedly works really well. Once again, you're paying, you're paying money. You're paying more than a dollar a sheet for the paper. That's, that's not really what I want, but a dollar a sheet, you know, that's, if you're looking project-wise, that's probably the best way to transfer your photo from your inkjet printer onto wood. The gel medium, I believe, is second place. The gel medium, you can buy this at an art supply store, $14, $16 on Amazon. I think this is about $12. It works okay. It doesn't work perfect. If you're slower with it, it will work better. I left too much paper around the outside edges, and then that paper gets glued down. I didn't, I didn't scrub all of that paper off. 
If I were to do this again, I would cut the images out almost exactly the right size with the paper so I don't end up with this extra paper to scrub off. Uh, the gel medium works really well, gives you something that you could put on. It's not a perfect photo, it's not a perfect image, it's definitely better than rustic. It's, it works quite well. The polycrylic, I, there's areas that worked on it, which makes me believe that if I, if I got my technique down, I think the polyacrylic could work really well. Polyacrylic is like 11 or $12 at your big box store, but it's something I always have. The polyacrylic, yes, it's, it's 11 $12, pretty close to what this is on Amazon at my big box store, but it's something I use. I'm going to use this on a dozen, two dozen product, projects this year. If I'm using that on two dozen projects anyway, project number 25, using two brushfuls, three brushfuls, really doesn't cost me anything. So I really wish I could get the polyacrylic to work well. I should practice with it. I should try to make it work better. I want this to be my favorite. As long as I own this gel medium, this is going to be my favorite, I think. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like this video and you'd like to watch the rest of my 30 videos in 30 days, please subscribe to my channel. Until tomorrow, peace. Thank <laughs> you.